Anybody here? Do you know what's going on? Nobody else is awake. We woke up 90 years too soon. I always like movies where, where you have characters that always feels a little bit out of place. There has been put in extreme situation that has to make some extreme choices. There's some, this is a very character-driven film, and it, was this, it also had this epic scope. So it was, a, uh, it was a movie that had, you know, a little bit of everything. There was, it was a great romance story. Uh, there was potential for some great action. Uh, it was a thriller. It had drama. It had existential choices. It had comedy and humor. It had all of it. it like, and I love movies that you cannot put in a box. You know, it's, it's not just a sci-fi. It's not just a romance. It's not just an action movie. It's, not, it's all of this. And, uh, and that's why I like it. It's both very intimate and it's also very big. So it's, it's, it was really tough to, to balance. That was, it's, you know, to, to, to make choices. And, and um, but it's, it's, that's why it's an original story. Who wants to sleep on a beautiful day like this? There's something else going on here. Every filmmaker's big dream is to actually to make, design your own spaceship. There, there's so many iconic spaceships out there that, that, and I think that Avalon deserves to be on that list. Because it's, and you, and you think about, first of all, you have to go all that science, that, because we have this rotating spaceship that moves, every part moves 51 meters a second and rotates to create 1G of centrifugal force, like gravity. And we have, uh, part of it which, which are meant for passing. We have the more uh, technical parts that for crew, like you design all these different flavors of how a ship should, that should look like and feel like it. And it, it has been such a great, like and you have to go in like, how would this ship function? How would this company think when they're building this? And, and, and uh, you have to look at both the science and also these sort of like emotional MLM elements of this whole ship. So it's, uh, it's, it's been so fun. And also we wanted it to be a ship that doesn't really only uh, rely on futuristic uh, elements. We wanted to look back, like I'm inspired by a lot of old movies and like older movies and, and also by Art Deco, Art Nouveau, like you see on this bar. Uh, I mean, if it's, I think it's the first time you've ever seen a spaceship with a bar in it. Uh, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's been such a great challenge and also a great pleasure to, to be able to, to put this better and make this world that I think is truly unique. Everybody said yes. Everybody wanted to be, be a part of this. And, and Guy Diaz, uh, my production designer, all we wanted to work with, and who you designed this, this phenomenal spaceship. Uh, Rodrigo Pietro uh, is, a, uh, is a DP that I think photographs people so beautifully, and it's such an interesting DP. And I asked him to, if he wanted to do this, because it's a character movie. And I said, but it's a sci-fi, because do you want to do a sci-fi? He said, I always wanted to do a sci-fi, I dream of doing that. So he came on board, uh, Marion Brandon, who's a phenomenal editor who just did Star Wars, come on board. So I have all these, you know, top, top people who all, who all wanted to do this. And it's, it became this like family that, that, that all wanted to, to do. I, I think everybody felt that this could be very special, that this could be something very unique. Greatest migration in human history. Stranded on a sinking ship. I met them both individually before we started shooting. Um, I had dinner with them and, and individually, and, and, and I, I knew that something magic is going to happen when you put it together. That is going to be sparks between them because it's. They do did have that that in, intense chemistry which you needed for for a movie like this, um, and they were also great fun to be on on set. And I think that's very important for them because when they're in front of camera, there's always an extreme emotion. You know, either it's extreme love or it's fear or uh, anger or, uh, you know, it's about redemption. It's about hatred. It's like there's, there's, there's all these big emotions they have to portray in front of the camera or they're, it's all about surviving and it's near death. And it's, it's all this. So stepping away from camera, I think it was important for them to have, you know, to be able to sit there together and joke and be funny and, and get some of that out. I mean, if they were in the mindset of the character 24-7, I, I think it would be grueling and, and, and really impossible for them to give so much as they do when they're in front of the camera. I couldn't be happy that Michael Sheen said yes to play Arthur, the bartender. And it's like everybody loves Arthur because there is, he is, you know, he's an android 
but he brings so much humanity to it, to this character. And it's such a hard character to play. I mean, I don't think, first of all, he's strapped to this device that zooms him back and forth, and he has to mix drinks without looking at it, and he has to be without any hesitation. Everything has to be precise, efficient, and he does that, and still he brings this small sliver of humanity to this character that just makes it believable that he is a machine that tries to imitate human emotions. Lauren Fishburne uh, as Gus is, is sort of like the surprise of the film a little bit. Uh, and he brings such authority and it's and at the same time humanity to this. I mean he's he's the sailor. He is the the typical uh, you know uh, who's always been traveling, who's always, you know, the space becomes the sea. Uh, no, uh, you know, where, you know, he's always out there between the stars and, and live the life of a spacer. Someone who, who you know, works on a spaceship and, and tr just travels around on a spaceship. And, and there's this vulnerability and strength in him that he's able to portray in this character, which is so needed. Uh, and and there's there's, you know, the tragic element to the character he portrays in you know in so beautifully so so I, I couldn't be more happy that he came aboard and wanted to be Gus. It's all designed to keep us out. There has to be a way. This wasn't an accident. There's something they didn't tell us. Here we go. Jim! There's a reason we woke up early. I want people to talk when they walk out. I want people to discuss the choices the character made. I want people to discuss how their life must have been. I want them to ask each other, what would you have done? I want a um, good movie starts conversations. Uh, you can be entertained. You should be thrilled. You should, you know, fall in love. You should laugh. You should have all these emotions. But most importantly, when you walk out, you should want to talk. You should want to want to discuss this. This movie should linger with you for a while. And that's what I hope. And that's what I think it will be.